How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Mother Load. Boy, did I not expect you guys to like this. I'm always worried when I do something a little bit different, uh, especially checking out a game as old as this one, and you guys seem to absolutely love it. So I was able to save my uh, save state here, and we're going to go deeper today. You guys actually told me, I did not know this, there's a boss at the end of this. I don't, well, maybe I shouldn't have spoiled it, but I have no idea what the boss is. Neither do, hopefully, most of you. But deep down there somewhere, there's supposed to be some sort of big boss. So we're going to get back into it today uh, and check out what that is. Now, before we go, we got five grand right now. Let's see what we can do with this five grand. It's been a couple days since I last played, so do we want to upgrade this? We currently have the emerald drill. Uh, that's going to cost 20,000, so I'm just trying to remember where we were. I can upgrade my health if we want to. I think my health's pretty good right now. The engine might be a good idea. Uh, but you know what? I do like a good fuel tank, so I think we're just gonna wait it out and keep this current money. Let's actually go... Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil, we got another avalanche there, so, uh, all my pathways are now totally screwed up. So, with that in mind, it seems like the deeper that we go, the more avalanches there are. I think it's gonna be smart to buy a bunch of materials. So, I currently have the quantum teleporter that teleports you somewhere above the surface level. We don't know where. It could be high in the sky. Uh, and then I have my reserve fuel tank. Now, I think it might be a good idea to buy some dynamite as well, so we're gonna do that. Uh, and maybe I should have bought the hull repair, but I don't have enough money to do that. Alright, so we're just gonna dig down at this point, because I keep trying to build my own tunnels and they never actually work out so I think we're just gonna have to basically build a new tunnel every time so we're just gonna go straight down we don't need all this basic stuff so uh, yeah let's just focus on not breaking myself because you gotta remember if we do die it's game over and I want to get to the end of this if we can ah uh, what is that we got a re damn son we just got a religious artifact for $50,000, and we also got some dinosaur- Dinosaur bones are only worth a thousand, but religious artifacts are worth 50000 That's gotta be a damn good religious artifact, man. Did we find Jesus himself? Because it better be. Ah, uh, but yeah, we're actually running out of fuel here, so let's run back up. Can't complain with that run. We got 50000 bucks right there, so we're gonna be able to majorly upgrade this thing, and $950 worth of materials as well. Not that I really got too much of that, so, man. Those rare things seem to be the most useful thing to find. Mind you, 50,000 is really not that much money now. To get my next uh, gas tank is 100,000. So just with that in mind, you can really tell that this game is going to get much more difficult. But that means we can actually buy... How much was... There was another teleporter in here. Hello, pair of nanobots. Matter transfer uh, transmitter safely and accurately returns to the above ground. I'm playing it safe now, guys. I want to get as much inventory as possible, and we're going to get the hull repair nanobot, which is allow going to allow us to repair the hull in case we do take a big hit down there. So you don't want to, you know, skimp out on stuff like that because one false move and you can lose everything. Now, we st still have 37,000, so... I'm thinking, yeah, we need to upgrade. Let's get that good old ruby drill. We got two more drills to buy. That The uh, best one is 500,000. That's an a a Amazonite. A a Amazonite? Yeah, a Amazonite. That's hard to say for me. Uh, I think I'm also going to buy the new hull because that's so cheap. Uh, aside from that, again, we're still waiting to get... Oh, actually, I thought the... Uh... I thought the next tank was much more expensive. All right, so that's not bad. I think we'll wait for that now because I definitely still have fuel issues. And we're just going to go back down. Now that we have pretty much everything, uh, we should be good. Oh, God. See, that's the problem. Like, one fa false move, you can totally ruin your hull. Thankfully, we got some decent upgrades. So I know I can fall down to about 1,000 feet. And I don't want to risk it, though. So we're just going to start slowing down a bit. All right, there we go, though. We've made it down, and look at how fast that drill is now. Oh, man, I love these drill upgrades. And we're getting into some more rare materials as well. Still, nothing too amazing just yet. I want to find more of those secrets, though. That's... What's actually... What is that... Oh, that's okay. That's where my mouse is. I was like, what's that green arrow? Uh, I should probably get my mouse off the screen, because I, I know you guys don't like that. All right, we got some purple stuff over here. Gotta love the purple stuff. Got some platinum, and we are still going downwards. We're at 1,500 feet now. I believe we hit about that in the last episode. We still have gotten much further than this. Actually, what is that? All right, we got something new, maybe? Einsteinium! All right, now we're getting into the fun stuff. 
And of course, we got rocks around the screen as well now, so we need to watch out for that. Uh, thankfully, we got dynamite, so we should be able to blast right through that if it does get in our way. And speak of the devil, now we did get one in our way, so I'm gonna try this thing out. It should be in here somewhere. Hall repair, I forget the uh, button, so it's X for the dynamite. So if we press X, oh! <sighs> Okay, I- Jesus, I thought I blew myself up, but yes, we got that out of the way. I'm hoping, I'm gunning to not get any earthquakes anytime soon. So, we're just gonna go, continue going downwards here. Actually, oh my god, no, don't, don't break it. Okay, thank god. Come on, give me another 50 grand, give me another 50. Oh, we got another 50 grand just what I asked for. And let's get back up top quick here because we don't have too much fuel left. Might be a good idea to get the engine upgrade now because we are going so deep. It does take a long time to get back to the top. It's not too awful, but definitely uh, when we get to this low amount of gas, it gets a little bit scary. So sell all. That's four grand right there. Almost five grand, actually. Not too bad. And fuel low. We just got the indicator. Come on. Oh, man, don't scare me like that. All right, so now we... Oh, you bastard. Just when I thought it wasn't going to do it, it did it. All right, so that beautiful tunnel that I made, it is totally gone now. Uh, guaranteed, so that kind of sucks. But you know what? That's just the play of the game. So now we are definitely going to upgrade to this gigantic tank. What do we currently have? 40 liters. That's going to... Give us 33 more percent fuel, which is really good. Actually, how much does the next one? 100,000. Okay, that's a little bit too high for me. Uh, and I'm going to upgrade my engine because that's dirt cheap to do. What, what else do we got in there? Uh, let me actually quickly check. All right, you know what might be smart? Let's upgrade our cubic bay here or our, you know, storage bay. Uh, because I might buy some fuel upgrades and just stay down there for as long as possible. So how much do we currently got? We got 37,000. I don't know if we need to go that high. I feel like it might be a good idea to buy some upgraded fans as well, so again, we're just, we don't really, I don't know what these things are for, but I do know that they will come in handy, and you know what, let's buy the 80 health as well, just to be safe. I really wish it changed the look of your, uh, little m vehicle here, whatever this thing is, but like I said, I want to stay down there longer now, now that we have some serious amount of money, and these things are only $2,000 each, let's buy another one of these, you know what, let's buy two of those, so that's going to allow us to fill up the tank, it actually refills up to 25 liters, so it's not going to do a full tank, but it's going to do about a half a tank, and we're going to do a total repair as well, well actually, no damage to repair, so no big deal there, let's go back down, and we got to remember, as you can see, we did get hit with that uh, earthquake, so so we do have to basically start from scratch once again, unfortunately. Oh, I see another one, man. I am loving. Oh, no. Did I break it? Okay, I need to go down uh, because we can't go up with this thing. So I need to drive all the way across here. Now it's somewhere. Yes, right there. Oh, right at the edge of the map. Give me another 50 grand. Dude. We are finding so many religious symbols, so I'm not going to go any deeper because I still got to redig this whole thing and I don't want to... Basically, I can go up really quickly anyways, so I'm going to refuel and then I'm going to look around the area with my fuel tanks once I get to a deep spot where we're going to get a lot of good materials. All right, another dynamite needed. That is so cool. So it just kind of blows up around you. And those are getting so cheap. I mean, as realistically, it's not cheap. I think we're just getting really lucky finding a lot of religious symbols. And basically, it feels like they're so cheap. But uh, yeah, they really are not. Okay, so what are we at now? 2,000 feet. Like I said, I'm just going to go a little bit deeper. You know, you always want to go deeper in this game. But we are slowing down with the drill. So maybe I'll wait till I hit a rock or something. Or if there's anything interesting on the screen. All right, there we go. We hit the rock. So let's go take a little wander around here and see what we can find. Oh, we actually got some fossils right up there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go try and get those. So yeah, it's all about finding all those rare items. All right, fossils. Hopefully you're a bit better than the other one. And we got a religious symbol as well. Uh, we just got dinosaur bones. Not too bad. Now I need to figure out... Okay, so what I can do is go... Oh, crap. Now I really screwed it up. I thought, you know what? I should have dug down one and then went over. There's got to be a way to get up to that, though. So I'm going to dig. All right, we can go over here. I'm going to get to it because it's 50,000. I just keep screwing it up, of course. All right, so we can go. Oh, 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 climb up. There we go. And go that way and then down. Perfect. Give me another 50 grand, please. Yes. <laughs> Dude, they're always 50 grand. That's crazy to me. All right, I went all the way across the map. I'm not seeing too much else. You know what? Let's go back to the main area. I don't want to lose my uh, node down. That's the thing. So we're going to go. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep going down a little bit, and then we'll look 
around as we go deeper. So, right about here, we're stuck once again. So let's go check out and see what we can find again. All right, getting low on fuel. So we're gonna top that up. There we go. That's what's great about this now. Now we can really stay down here. We found a gem. All right, how much is that worth? Wow, did we just get 25,000? No, okay, so that, I think that was 25,000 points. Uh, we're getting a lot of good materials here, though, as you can see. Not seeing any rare items, though. You really gotta find those rares. Uh-oh. Uh, is there anyone there? I need help badly. I can't feel my legs. Oh, God, he's coming. Oh, we might be getting to the boss area. Ooh, another religious symbol. Look at that. We are gonna be able to afford, hopefully, our tank upgrade then. So, we'll go over and grab that, and bam, another 50 grand right there. And treasure right below it. This is, man, I'm getting so lucky right now. How much is that? 50, I, I feel like the religious artifact should be a little bit cheaper if freaking treasure, pirate's treasure of all things, is only worth 5,000. But, we're still going deeper, and you know what? Maybe I should go bank soon here. We're at 100,000. It might be smart to get those upgrades. And I really have no idea where I am right now. So, yeah, we're going to go back up, uh, start traversing through this. I'm already lost. This is, I, I get lost very easy in games like this. So, it's smart to start now. All right. It's just like a maze, except I built the maze already. So, it should be a lot easier for me. Unfortunately, it's, it's never easy. It is never easy for me. All right. Come on. Is this the right way? I feel like this is... Okay, yeah. We went that way, and then we went all the way over. Are we back? I think... Yes, this is the way up. Here we go. Back to the top. Can I save my fuel? I don't want to spend the two grand if I don't need to. But we are going to have to go really quickly. We're at 700 feet. Yeah, we should be able to make it really easily, actually. So not too bad. We only used two fuel there. And as you can see, my hull's perfect. I did not take any damage at all. Let's hope there's no earthquakes. $10,000 worth of uh, materials as well. Those emeralds, really, really good. 5,000 each. So now we're getting into the materials that are really going to be worth it to gather. All right. And we just hit the uh, fuel tank warning. Perfect timing. And we're good to go once again. Let's go and buy some more stuff, though just because we can. All right, so like I said, I think the fuel tank's the best option for me, so we are going to buy the Leviathan tank, and that's pretty much all my money right there, so we're gonna save the rest of it. Let's actually go to the other store just to see what I got going on right now. Am I missing anything? Plastic explosives, you know what? Since we don't have one, let's just buy one. That way we have a little bit of everything. And we still got loads of reserve fuel tanks, so I don't need to buy any more of those. I do wanna buy some more dynamite though, because those are really useful. Let's buy one reserve fuel tank too. Now somebody said there is indeed something in the sky. So I'm gonna go check. I believe they said in the comments 5,000 feet. Actually, quite a few of you did. So I'm gonna go up to 5,000. I don't know how high I went before. I feel like I did go to 5,000, but maybe I have to look at it around at around 5,000 feet. Please don't be an alien that like kills me or something. That that would that would crush me. You guys, that would be the ultimate troll. So we're at 5,000 feet. I'm not seeing anything though. It's going back to blue. That's the weird part. I, I've definitely been this high, haven't I? All right, back at 15,000 feet. Guys, like, why does this keep going? It, it's it's gonna bother me so much. If you know exactly where I need to go, because I feel like it's hidden up here somewhere, feel free to let me know. I'm gonna go all the way across the screen, just in case. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we went all the way across. Doesn't take very long. We may as well go to 20,000 at this point, because uh, something might be there. You never know, but uh, after this, I'm not gonna go up in the sky anymore, so. If we can't find anything, then we can't find anything. And yeah, back to 20,000, nothing's there. So let's start dropping. All right, we are right at 5,000 feet. I'm going to go across the screen because I know one of you said it was at 5,000. Maybe it's 50,000. That would really suck. But yeah, as you can see, I'm sticking right around 5,000 feet. It's really dark here, but yeah, there's nothing here. Damn it. It really bothers me because I know there's something up there. All right, well, we may never find the secrets of the sky, but we are finding a lot in the ground at least, so that's at least something going for us. Uh, I can't complain with that at all. I, I always forget how deep I went, so I'm always so scared to go. I believe it was about 2,000 feet, but as you can see, it's actually... Oh, oh God, okay. Well, can we actually do... Ah, uh, we have to do two dynamites there. I, I want to go deeper, though, so... Let's go see what's even deeper than this. And I'm quickly realizing I need a lot of... Di Are you serious? All right, I think that's it. All right, that's all I got, I believe. So actually, let me check my inventory. Uh, oh, we still have 
two more. Thankfully, I stocked up on it because uh, I already used like five of them. And it's looking like there's going to be rocks everywhere. As we go deeper, obviously, the ground gets more and more difficult to deal with. All right, so we got that one. Let's grab whatever this thing is. Uh, I think, yes, that's Einsteinium. Oh, we got a chest over there. That's only worth 5,000. Oh, are you serious? Okay, technically, we hit the 3,000 feet. I was hoping he would tell me something, but he didn't. But uh, we're 3,000 feet deep, so let's go around and see what we can find. Starting off strong with some treasure, of course. Uh, but I'm hoping to find more religious artifacts. Oh, what is this? Martian digging pod 342... 3,422. How are you making out, kid? I know you're new here. Well, I'm not... I'm getting pretty good now, game. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a tip. Make sure you don't neglect your radiator. We didn't. I ran into a lava pocket a few moments ago, but my twin turbines dissipated the heat amazingly. My hull was barely damaged, probably saved my life. So now we need that upgrade. I believe if I, if my childhood memory serves me correct, it's very hard to tell the difference between a lava pocket and an ordinary one. If, I don't even know if there's any visual difference actually, if I remember correctly. So we might hit one. We do have the radiator to hopefully deal with it. So we should be good. And we're just gonna go deeper because we have everything that we need. We got some delicious uh, emeralds over there. I gotta go up top to get to them, and those are worth 5,000 each, aren't they? So, not too bad. Oh, there's the lava right there, so, okay, it is very obvious. I thought there was like a hidden one. There is a hidden one. I think there's like gas vents or something, if I remember correctly, uh, but the lava looks like it's very obvious, so if I hit that, it's my own damn fault. <laughs> Oh, what is this now? Once again, congratulations, you've made it farther than I even anticipated. Anyways, I've sent another bonus. Watch out for natch- There it is, the gas pockets. My memory is serving me correct. Gas pockets, they're highly undetectable and highly explosive. One more thing, your ultimeter is only rated for a depth of around 6,000 feet. After that, you will need to turn back. Really, it's just too dangerous. Don't tell me that, because I want to go deeper now just to see what's there. But, uh, I'm gonna listen to it. We're still only at 3,000 feet, so we got a ways to go. But, uh, yeah, now we're getting into the scary stuff, guys. Now, we gotta watch out for gas pockets. Again, it said there is a difference. It's just very hard to tell. Uh, we do got a ruby over here, so let's go get that. Is it a ruby? It looked kind of orange. Yes, it is. So that was 10,000, I believe. Not too shabby. The background's getting red, though, so I'm getting a little scared. Oh, Martian digging pod. Trapped in a crevasse. Earthquake damaged my drill, and I'm out of fuel. This will probably be my last transmission. Tell my kids I love them. What you? What are you doing down here? There's some sort of monster down here, guys, because they keep talking about that. So obviously, we got to watch out for monsters now. And I'm getting kind of scared because the background's turning red. You know red is bad. Cargo bay is full. That's the first time that's happened. All right, let's get the hell out of here before an earthquake happens. And that's harder than it seems because I went everywhere. <laughs> I, I was not building a straight tunnel down. Okay, that's not the way, but obviously this way. What are we at? 3,500 feet. Is this... No, that's not my shaft. Okay. Is this my shaft? That that sounds weird. Trying to find my own shaft. Okay, yeah. Well, I really dug quite far. Thankfully, we got an upgraded tank. So, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. We might need to use my teleporter if we get too lost here. But, generally, you can find your way out. There's uh, very few pathways that are very, very long. So, that's the kind of telltale way that you're going the right direction. All right. This looks good. This looks nice and open. 2,800 feet, and that is definitely where we need to go. Oh, why did I slow down so much? That was weird. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my field just to play it safe. Again, let's not risk it when it's only cost 2,000 bucks, and let's get out of here. I probably didn't need one, though, because we got a pretty big field tank. All right, to the top! Man, we were really deep there. It's nice to see sunlight again in a in a flash-based game of all things as well. Uh, how'd we do? $56,000! Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Sold all those materials. We didn't even need any rare artifacts. We, we, we got all we need right there. We uh, refilled our fuel as well. Now, we still only got 9... I mean, 90,000 is pretty crazy, but I don't think that's really gonna allow us to buy anything. Maybe I should buy that ra radiator, though. The next one... Oh, no, that's 100,000, too. So we are pretty good right now. Uh, let's go back, and we need lots of these. All right, I'm gonna buy 10 of those. Hull repair. Yeah, let's buy one more of those. They're not cheap. 
Uh, reserve fuel tank, again, stocking up on everything because stocking up is smart. Uh, aside from that, I think we're pretty good here. Oh, I should probably repair my hull. I, I, I don't know how long I've been walking around with a damaged hull. But yeah, I think, guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this episode because we did a lot today. We found a lot of rare artifacts. We have dug to 4,000 feet. Still haven't found what's in the sky, so if you guys know where it is, feel free to let me know because I'm really curious about that. Enough of you commented to the point where I know there's something up there. It's just very hard to find. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Motherload. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.